Hi friends, 2023 has started and I'm sure you're getting very excited about your cloud security career. So this is one of my first videos for 2023. I thought it would be a good idea to focus on cloud security engineer skills, you know, like what you need to develop to be successful in your career for 2023. Now, if, you've, if you are following this channel, you know, I have like a, made a complete video on cloud security certifications a few weeks back, okay? And I've said that what you need to know and how you need to, like what type of certification you should pursue, whether you should go for the platform agnostic like the CCSK or the CCSP, or you should give it something like, which is more platform specific, like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. And I've tried to uh, clarify which certification is better for whom. Now the problem is that certifications are awesome, nothing against certifications, but the problem is everybody is doing them, right? So I wanted to talk about certain skills which you can really get to make yourself stand out from the competition. So this is what I'm talking about, cloud security engineer skills for 2023. Like what are the other skills that make you stand out and you can get them to make yourself stand out from the competition. And I'm gonna talk about those skills which are independent of any provider, you know? You can use them with AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle, whichever major cloud provider you're using. You can focus on these skills, develop them in 2023, focus on building them throughout the year and you'll see definitely see success and yourself standing out. And before we move ahead, guys, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. In case you're new here, my name is Tamur, and I talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cyber security career advice. So today, like I said, I want to talk about cloud security engineer skills. And if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe, like this video, share it. That will really help the channel to grow. Thanks so much. Now, the first skill I want to talk about is infrastructure as code. Now, if you're familiar with this, or if you're not familiar with this, if you're working in the cloud, there is no escape from infrastructure as code. It is one of the most essential skills you need. Infrastructure as code, basically like its name means, you can define infrastructure in a code template, which can get then processed and converted into actual infrastructure like a server, like a virtual network, like a database. A few lines of code can literally make you spin up a complete server in the cloud. And that is how infrastructure, Nine times out of 10, this is how infrastructure works in the cloud. Nobody goes manually to a console and starts spinning up infrastructure. I mean, if you want to spin up like 100 servers, you're not going to do it manually, right? So all your whole infrastructure is captured within templates. And I've seen a lot of security people, they make this mistake. They don't learn this technology. And it's very easy to learn also. They don't learn it. And then they're not able to find out what the security issues are also. So this is what it looks like. Like this is uh, Terraform. Terraform is like a language or technology used for spinning up infrastructure as code. You build it, it gets applied to a cloud environment, and then you have your servers, your databases, your whole infrastructure be spinning up. It is very, very fast, very, very stable, and quite secure also, because your whole environment is captured within a code template. You can do source code review, you can run tools on it, okay? But the thing is, a lot of things which I've seen that a lot of cloud security people and engineers, they don't know how to review infrastructure as code templates. What they do is they rely on third party tools. And the thing is, if you rely on third party tools and don't know how to read it yourself, a lot of things you'll miss out on. And a lot of things, sometimes these tools do not capture. So it's very important to learn infrastructure as code. You know, things like uh, Terraform, CloudFormation. I always recommend Terraform because it's the most popular and you can apply it anywhere. How would you learn it? Well, HashiCorp, the company who's built Terraform, like who you who are like the pioneers of infrastructure code, they have excellent tutorials, completely free, available. available. You can get there. Just try to spin up a few infrastructure as cloud. Try to spin up a server. See what happens, and at least get the basic knowledge of this. Don't be completely ignorant about infrastructure as code and how it works. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one, a lot of people which do not know is serverless. What is serverless? Now serverless is basically just like you can think about the cloud reaching its full potential. With serverless, you have no servers, no network, no, uh, what do you call, infrastructure to worry about. It's literally code, okay? You're writing code and you're letting the cloud provider run it. Okay, so it's an execution model, in, everything goes away. Only code exists to run and then code exists to secure. So there's no server to patch. Uh, no network boundary to protect, the total security weight falls on the application code. And I, it's like surprising to me how many cloud security professionals, they don't know about serverless and how to secure them. Like if you can't even write a simple hello world function in serverless, you're gonna have serious problems. The, and it's very easy to learn also, you don't need to be a coding expert, okay? 
you have things like AWS Lambda, Google Cloud Functions, Azure Functions. It's very easy to do. Try creating some simple serverless functions and try to understand how it works. You do not need to be a coding master. Like simple tutorials are present, right? try to write simple code. It will really make you stand out from the competition and it will move. let me move towards security automation, which is the next point. And the third skill, I don't want to like flood you with too many skills, but the third and the most important skills which you really should know if you're a cloud security engineer is security automation. This builds upon the previous one. Like if you know serverless, then you should be able to know automation. And it's one of the best things, the advantages that cloud has over on-prem. You can completely automate a lot of things in the cloud, right? Incident response, automation, security detection. And if you buy understanding serverless and how the cloud works, you can literally create a completely automated incident response flow. And you can respond to security events which are happening in the cloud. You can think of like a serverless as like a cybersecurity engineer, which is sitting in the cloud 24 seven. It knows what's happened and it can respond automatically. You can take an example of this. I don't want to get into too many details, but this is literally like something happens in AWS. You can get a finding which goes to an audit trail immediately. Something like Lambda, you know, a completely serverless function will pick it up, send you a notification and it will automatically kick in and fix it. So completely automated. You do not need a person to get an email uh, and him to call somebody up and then like go manually try to fix it complete and total automation you can do and it's amazing how many cloud security engineers i know who don't know how to do this because this is one of the most fundamental skills you should know for the cloud it will really help you to stand out from the competition so three things i just wanted to recap infrastructure is code learn that uh, serverless try to understand how that works and security automation so i don't want to flood you with too many things i hope this was useful guys like i've said many times before cloud security is different from on prem so you should approach it differently also. If this video was useful to you, please do subscribe to this channel and like and share this video. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.